So you want to extract awesome armor out of your body. Not a problem. Now there are two main ways to do this. The traditional way is to mask your area and under subtool, extract, pick extract, and you will see a projection of your extraction. If you move the camera, it will disappear. And that's because this is not real yet. It's just a projection. If you want the area to be smoother, increase the segments here. And if you want to change the thickness, increase it here. T border means you will get a row of topology along the outside borders of your shape. If T corner is enabled, it will use triangles to try and keep the shape as smooth as possible. When double is enabled, it means the final shape will be twice as thick. Normally, it will only extrude forwards, but double will make it extrude forwards and backwards. When you are happy with your settings, hit the accept button and it will turn your projection into a real new object. This object will come with its edges already masked. So from here, you can easily go into deformation, polish crisp edges, polish by groups, then polish by features, then quickly Z remesh by groups for quick work. So that was the traditional way. The new modern way is to duplicate your object, mask what you want, and create a polygroup. Hide everything but the new polygroup and under geometry and edge loop, and make sure that append is on. Decide your thickness here and hit panel loops. Now it's gonna be super smooth even with low poly. And also see if we look here closely, there are five loops on the edges. If you wanna change the number of loops on the edges, just change the amount here. If we change it to three and try again, you will now see three loops instead of five. If you wanna adjust the smoothness, change the polish. The higher, the smoother. And when double is enabled, it means the inside will be walled off with real polygons. If it's off, you will see there are no polygons on the inside. When inner is enabled, it just means that instead of popping out, it will dig in. Regardless, once you've got what you want, use the usual polish by groups, features, and Z remesh workflow I showed earlier. The second method generally gives you much better topology and cleaner groups, but I wanted you guys to know both just in case. Anyway, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.